about golf so at a high level like if we're analyzing the market right so there's a lot of studies that go either way they say golf is decreasing in terms of market share when compared to other sports or some that say top golf is one of the reasons golf is growing but top golf isn't really golf it's a blast the first time i actually went to top golf was in arizona and just like super fun but not golf and so when you think about that at a high level does it does it impact any of your decision making or you just start thinking about like, how do we grow into other markets? We talked about tennis, maybe that becomes a line. I, I don't know, right? But I'm just trying to figure out what, what is in your growth model, given the industry. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So I think in, from a macro level in the industry, I think the stats show that golf is pretty stagnant, right? It like drops and maybe goes up two to 3%. I think that golf will die if the culture doesn't change or it will continue to decline. Um, I think right now you have golf culture, primarily if you're outside the sport, super, super rich, super white, and it's super exclusive. You have to become part of it. There's like walls up. It's like, you have to be part of a country club that kind of makes it trickier for people to get into it. I think the movement that's happening now in golf with, there's a ton of brands out there doing it that are kind of becoming like the younger generation of golf, like a bad birdie or like, I don't know, a direct to consumer, like a vice golf balls or like. I mean, there's just so many from whether it's gear to apparel, I think that that type of cultural change will actually make it more accepting and more inclusive and more people actually enjoy it. I think the market itself, I think golf will always be around. I think, I don't know if it's all of a sudden going to become this, we're going to see a huge spike in it unless you get like another Tiger Woods type player to come in, but there's really no one like that right now. For me, like Tiger Woods, like everyone started playing golf when Tiger took off. But I think there's no one in that right now. I mean, there are younger guys that are playing, but not anyone like him. So I think golf's I think golf's gonna keep growing. I would say it's I don't think it's gonna skyrocket and be the fastest growing sport in America. And I don't really know if that's our I don't know if that's necessarily our goal right now. I think for Bad Birdie, our goal is to be like, hey, we love this game and we wanna help make it fun for anyone who wants to play and enjoy it. So, you know, another big barrier there too is golf has a steep learning curve. So, you know, we're always talking about ways to help getting people in the game and clinics or things like that down the road. So, and then jumping into the company specifically, I think that we're always going to be a golf brand right now. If we did ever launch, you know, another type of bad birdie brand, I think we would probably, I would probably put it under an umbrella of a something else versus bad birdie. I think bad birdie is so golf specific and you see it a lot with other brands, Travis Matthew, where they're a huge company now, but like the golfers are kind of, I feel like they're kind of moving away. Like the more committed golfers are kind of moving away from it because they're like, well, now they're kind of sold out and just like a men's lifestyle brand. I mean, they still sell hundred and you know, they probably sell a hundred times a year more than I do, but I think Bad Birdie will always be a specific golf brand. And at least the next couple of years. Will you always do clothing or will you branch out? You mentioned vice golf balls, other things. For yeah, their- I think. I think clothing. I think clothing. I mean, I, I'm a huge shoe guy. I, my goal as a kid was always to like design shoes at Nike. So if, if Nike ever calls and is like, Hey, we want to do a collab hundred percent. Yes. Getting into the footwear game. I have no idea how, what the development is on that and what it would look like. I love Nike shoes right now and I wouldn't really change anything about them. So I'm like, Hey, if they're doing it, we don't need to change. But if there's that collab, I'm down. Hey everyone. Thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh... See you later.